सत्यमूर्ति सर एंड पंडित मनीष शंकर शास्त्री जी श्री एच एस त्यागराज सर आई रिक्वेस्ट देम टू कम ऑन टू द स्टेज Satyamurthy he has served as principal secretary of water resources department in the government of Karnataka and also as md of Karnataka Niravari Nigama he has written an excellent book on 22 guiding principles of life he will speak on the topic secrets of mother's grace we welcome you sir the next topic is shri vidya secrets of mother grace i request shri d satyamurthy to deliver the talk and address the gathering modalnevagi nanna aatmiya gurugalaadanta shringeri jagad gurugalige shri shri bharati tirtha mahaswamigalige namaskrisi illi vedike mele iddanta ella ganya vyaktigalige namaskrisi tammellarige namaskrista ಈ ಶ್ರೀವಿದ್ಯದ ರಹಸ್ಯ ಗೂಢಾರ್ಧಗಳ ಮಧ್ಯದಲ್ಲಿ ನಾವು ಮೊದಲನೇದಾಗಿ ಈ ಇಂತಹ ಒಂದು ಅಂತಾರಾಷ್ಟ್ರೀಯ ಮಟ್ಟದ ಸಮ್ಮೇಳನವನ್ನು ಈ ಮೈಸೂರು ನಗರದಲ್ಲಿ ಮಾಡಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಕಾರಣಕರ್ತರಾಗಿರುವಂತಹ ಸನ್ಮಾನ್ಯ ಶ್ರೀ ತ್ಯಾಗರಾಜರವರಿಗೆ ನಾವೆಲ್ಲ ಮೊದಲನೇ ವಾಗಿ ಕೃತಜ್ಞತೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಸಲ್ಲಿಸಬೇಕಾಗ್ತದೆ ಯಾಕೆ ಅಂದರೆ ನಾವು ಕಲಿಯುಗದಲ್ಲಿ ಇದ್ವಿ ದೇವರ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಅಷ್ಟು ಮಾತಾಡಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಶಕ್ತಿ ಇಲ್ಲ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಇನ್ ಕಲಿಯುಗ ವಿ ಡೋಂಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಟು ಟಾಕ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಗಾಡ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ನೋ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಟು ಲಿಸನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ದಿ ಏದರ್ ದ ಡಿವೈನ್ ವರ್ಡ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಡಿವಿನಿಟಿ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಅವರ್ ಫಾಲ್ಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ reality of the existing times in the sandarbhadalli under these circumstances how tyagaraj has been able to get all of us here is nothing but i consider the grace of chamundi ma when uh, he came and asked me that i should come and say some words he is still not sure whether i am a really sri vidya upasaka or not that is a different issue i will clarify that a little later and uh, when he asked me i was a little worried because uh, should we really talk he also said there are lots of apprehensions wrong notions on what is sri vidya what is not sri vidya is it just a tantric science or something else under this context we want to educate the people and we want to really bring sri vidya to everyone when he said this i told him i want to talk about it on the mother's grace today this conference is organized in mysore nothing but because of chamundi ma's grace there is no doubt in it and she brought all of us here and since yesterday afternoon after i came here i was not allowed to move out at all except for half an hour and uh, i have also finding everyone irrespective of the age whoever is drawn here into this hall are not willing to get out yes maybe in dwapara yuga in treta yuga when gods spoke the sanskrit language all these mantras all these bijaksharas all these mudras might have had a meaning and because they were all doing the same thing and that is being understood but today we are no more in that kind of a world where 99% of the people are in a fast world and today media has taken over taken over all our mind and it is very difficult to ask the people to know it sit and understand it without practice 
So that's where I really appreciate when they said knowledge. I agree that uh, are we today looking at knowledge or are we talking of wisdom? Today whatever the, if you have heard all the speakers, at least I had an opportunity to listen almost all the sessions. Invariably whatever we have observed is nothing but the essence of their life's practice of the all Sri Vidya Upasakas who had given in few sentences their life experience in which in every lecture we have a lesson, we have a message which I am carrying, back, carrying forward back to my home and my life. What does it mean? For me that is all nothing but mother's grace. And also maybe it is a greatest golden time in my life I consider having seen all of you, which is a, like I am in Sargaloka when I look at all this place. We have forgotten ourselves, so many Upasakas with so much of energy, sitting here itself is a rare gathering, a rare energy, a rare union, whatever we call is a great uh, Sangama of the great minds and great Sadakas, which is not a small event. And uh, therefore I thought, that initially I would talk about a little bit, my, my paper is there in the souvenir, I hope you would get that, which I don't want to repeat it for other reasons, because of the lack of time. And uh, when we are, we all sat here, the, the bondage, the binding, the attraction, the way we all were pulled here is what the secret of Mother's Grace. And uh, this is where this grace is coming, where is mother's power, how are we able to see that, how are we able to experience it, how we are able to visualize it. This is where all of us can read books, hundreds of books we can all read, but uh, today you tell me every Indian has read Bhagavad Gita, there are nobody who has not read. For in every religion, whichever, whoever is born, we have been forced to read religious books. But when it comes to us, how much we have practiced? So there is a gap between knowledge, what we have practiced, what we have learned, without that knowledge is a, uh, knowledge is a bondage. That's why we call the Sastra, too much of Sastra will make us bond. Uh, the but again our ego goes up. So at the end of the day, when the organizers are worrying to put the knowledge in the common man's domain, we should understand that it is the mother's grace. Who are we? When, I, when Chagra Sava came and asked me, and I said, who are we to organize? She organizes herself. Everything is her maya, not only maya. The day we think we know maya, Mahamaya comes. The moment Mahamaya we think, there is something else that comes. And the Thai, the mother always tells, what you know is nothing. As we climb up all the avarnas, there is nothing, there is no end to this uh, journey for us with the Ma. And again the fundamental question all of us should ask, which I am I'm, I'm basically a scientist, I am a radiation genetist, I am a plant breeder before I came into my civil service, I was also a forester, I was in the Indian Forest Service before I came into IAS, yes, science. I used to do the mutations, I used to be a plant breeder and uh, what is science? The science of Sri Vidya is not a physical science. And today we don't have many universities which can teach us metaphysical science, occult sciences. No, we don't have. Even people are not able to see what is in front of them physically. How can you show someone what is not visible to them? People are so blind and deaf, we are all absent, we are all living dead. And for these people, in the, under the coat of science, how can we bring the science of Sri Vidya? The science of Sri Vidya is a vibratory science, is a metaphysical science, is a spiritual science, is an invisible science. Then the question comes, can we call it as a science? Do you have evidence? Yes. If you have an eye, if you have an invisible eye, you can see. 
even if you are normalized, cannot see what is in front of you, what signs of Sri Vidya one can teach anyone, impossible. If you can't listen what your neighbor is telling, as a father if you can't listen what your son is saying, as a husband what you can't listen to what your wife is saying, then how can you listen what mother is telling us? Practically impossible. It is a science. Now someone asks me, can you show electricity in the light which is burning? Yes. I can say there is electricity, I can't show you electricity. The only way is you put your finger in the plug socket, then when you are thrown out, then you say, yes, there is an electricity. Today, my is like that, Sri Vidya. Sri Vidya cannot be shown to you until you get the divine eye. And uh, this is one aspect of the science. And another aspect of the science is, what are we? Where did we come from? Who are we? What are we? What is my relationship with Ma? What is my relationship with Sri Vidya? Is it just limited? Just by reciting some mantras, doing some mudras, doing some pujas, doing some upvasas, am I going to succeed and get the blessings of the Ma? Am I going to drive the grace of the Ma? Is it only half an hour, three hours of puja that will bring us mother with us? Or when someone said yesterday, the Guru, the Goddess comes in the form of a Guru. In the similar way, Goddess every minute works through you. I am very sure that in the last two days, the Balatripur Sundari, Varahi and Shamala, they were sitting in the audience. We don't have eyes to see. And yesterday, I don't know how many of all of us have watched the dance, Nurti dance. Who danced? It is Thai who danced. Only you need to have eyes. You need to see the invisible portion. So today, the question fundamentally I ask all my officers, every one of us, is that as a Sri Vidya Upasaka, who are you? Who are you? And we want to read thousands of names. We want to read thousands of pages. But even the first word of Sri Mata, how much motherly attitude all of us have cultivated in our moment by moment living. Fundamentally, we have to ask, this is a Kali Yuga. People are not going to believe we show gods and goddesses in puja rooms and the temples. We have to show on our attitude. We have to bring the God in every moment of our action. We require living gods. We don't require a, a statue-based gods. <laughs> then everyone said, the body is a Devalaya. We are the microcosm. It is very easy to hear and the uh, underpinned brahmand, bhanda brahmand. It looks as though we have really gone to the underpinned brahmand and we come back within short time. Within a second again we are back to our own life. No, it doesn't make any sense if we are really wise people. I don't say, I always draw a line between knowledge and wisdom. Yes, people have knowledge. People have knowledge which they have not practiced. I don't know how many of you read the book called Intellectuals by Paul Johnson. Intellectuals have double standards. What they preach doesn't apply to others. And what are we as Sri Vidya Upasakas? We are from our past, we brought mother with us. Yes, if you don't believe past, if someone scientifically asks me, do you have a past? Yes, I have a past. Are you a Sri Vidya Upasaka in your past life? Yes. Are you going to be a Sri Vidya Upasaka in your future life? Yes, definitely. Where you have something what we don't carry in our life, the physical wealth, but a spiritual wealth is permanent. Whatever sadhana I have done in this life, my next life is going to start there. But scientifically, if somebody asks me, can you prove this? Yes, there is a way one can prove it. And everything with Sri Vidya is ease and grace. There is nothing to struggle hard. How I have learnt was, the moment you reach to a stage, mother gives you everything. One has to believe it to experience it. It is an automated gates. They, they open, they also get closed if we err. It is as is. We say one, one slogan, do nothing, accomplish everything. Do nothing, accomplish everything. Mother takes care of us. Mother is so powerful. Mother is so kind. We need not fear. We need not struggle hard. Mother knows what you want at what time you don't want. 
If in our practice we find obstacles, that means we don't deserve. At this point of time, it is not good for us. That's why mother doesn't allow us to know that. Otherwise, mother will provide you everything if you are fit to get that. That's what I call the mother's grace. I have found in my Sri Vidya practice, everything is available to you, including the rarest book, including the rarest CD, including the knowledge of the Beja Mantras, including the Yantra, Tantra, not only that, visiting gods and goddesses across the globe, you are carried to certain places. It is not astral world, what we call in your dreams. No, physically you are carried to these places. You are the highest witnessing the highest beauty and dance of the mother in the, across the globe. It happens. What we need to believe. So therefore, if we do not know who we are, for this evidence cannot be given. And we can't just say that I want to now popularize Sri Vidya and give it to everyone. Yes, you can give, but we are nobody. It is mother's will, wish, mother's will. And we are bringing this from our past lives. It is not that overnight we can bring this. And therefore, all of us need to understand that we are all light and sound at the end of the day. When we die, we, we, our light goes back to the Paramatma and we are vibrating sound when we get back or when we are alive. Today, while alive, we need to understand how we vibrate. We don't give time for ourselves to see inside how much we are vibrating, how we are attracting each one of us in our life. If you want Sri Vidya to attract to you the goddess of each avarna at each level, you require a vibration of a different with yourself. How do we acquire these vibrations? And now you see the first avarna itself talks about akarshanas, talks about siddhis. Do we require really these siddhis? Yes, mother gives us to test us. Otherwise there is no progress. I know many sadhakas have stopped at the first level. Though we know all the chakras, we all talk of bindu. We all talk of Mer Chakra, the height, highest points. But does it mean anything to us? Goddess is not going to take us to the... Uh, in fact, there is no need. If, even if she doesn't allow us to reach her. Because Mantrini says, why do you want to reach my God, my Goddess? Not required. You tell me, I'll give you whatever you want. Varahi says, Senade says, she says, she says, whatever we want, I am able to give. Why do you want to go up to that place? What are your needs? Our needs are simple. We want money. We want position. We want power, we want more and more comfort, more and more air conditions in our house, a bigger cars, bigger bungalows, more and more land. What else we want? All these are, we need not go to any chakras. The mother tests each one of us, all astas is this. Everything is sarva, it is not full, total, absolute, whatever your wants are. That's why we are all stuck. So the Sri Vidya is understanding, letter is different. Understanding the spirit of Sri Vidya is entirely different. I always felt it's all mother's will. If she wants to give us, she gives us. If she is not giving, still we have to treat it as a blessing. Everything in this life is Bhiksha from Mata Annapurneshwari. Bhiksham Dehi Krupa Valambanakari, Mata Annapurneshwari. Everything is a bhiksha. Today our being here is a bhiksha. Even grace is a small word. It is a bhiksha from Ma. As long as we take it, Sri Vidya, as a bhiksha of Ma to guide us and take us, I believe that would uh, give us a very big uh, one. So when we treat it as a light and sound, therefore my, uh, my feeling always had been that, yes, if you think Sri Vidya is a secret, is a secret. If you think Sri Vidya is a grace, it is all with ease. There is nothing to struggle hard and life is full of uh, happiness. That's why once we reach the highest point, it is all called Satchitananda, Brahmananda, Paramananda, Nityananda. All is Ananda. There is nothing else. Ananda is our own natural state. Whatever we added enables us to lose our original state of happiness. And we are searching for happiness. And English is a poor language. Unfortunately, I wanted to speak in Kannada only. Kannada bashigiru vanta idilla. Namage English nal matadvekandar sukha, saubhagya, santosha, ananda, paramananda. Idakke English nal sabdagali illa. So, adakke 
ನಾವು ನಮ್ಮ ಸರ್ಚ್ ನಾವು ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಬೀಯಿಂಗ್ ನ್ಯಾಚುರಲ್ ಬೀಯಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಮದರ್ ಅನೇಬಲ್ಸ್ ಅಸ್ ಟು ಗಿವ್ ಇಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಈಚ್ ಒನ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಅವರ್ ಓನ್ ಪಾತ್ ಅವರ್ ಓನ್ ಸ್ಪಿರಿಚುವಲ್ ಜರ್ನಿ ಅವರ್ ಓನ್ ಬ್ಲೆಸ್ಸಿಂಗ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಗುರೂಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಅವರ್ ಸೆಲ್ಸ್ ಅವರ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಗೈಡ್ಸ್ ಅಸ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಮಾ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವಿ ನೀಡ್ ಟು ರಿಯಲಿ ಲುಕ್ ಆಟ್ ದ ಗ್ರೇಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸಿ ದ ಡಾನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಮದರ್ ಇನ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಮೂಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಅವರ್ ಲಿವಿಂಗ್ ವೇರ್ ಹೌ ಶಿ ಈಸ್ ಬ್ಲೆಸ್ಸಿಂಗ್ ಹೌ ಶಿ ಈಸ್ ಪ್ರೊಟೆಕ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಅಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹೌ ಶಿ ಈಸ್ ಟೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಕೇರ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಸ್ ಈಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಐ ಬಿಲೀವ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಸೀಕ್ರೆಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ದಿಸ್ ಕಾನ್ಫರೆನ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಐ ಅಗೇನ್ ಎಕ್ನಾಲೇಜ್ ಮಿಸ್ಟರ್ ತ್ಯಾಗರಾಜನ್ ಫಾರ್ ಎ ವಂಡರ್ಫುಲ್ ಕಾನ್ಫರೆನ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ಬ್ರಿಂಗಿಂಗ್ ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಸ್ ಅಟ್ ಲೀಸ್ಟ್ ಐ ಫೀಲ್ ಟುಡೇ ಮಾರ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಐ ವೆನ್ ಟು ಚಾಮುಂಡಿ ಮಾ ಐ ಪ್ರೇಟ್ ಟು ಹರ್ and i was carrying whatever shawl i got it from there and i feel i'm blessed being here and for some time out of my official activities and to reflect myself where i stand in my relationship with ma and also i want to acknowledge all sadhakas who had come here to bless me and my family and all of us all my friends to make us more happy for a work towards working for a universal peace for universal love and sarve jana sukhino bhavantu for which more and more conferences like this a satsang of people like all of you is what going to be a future light not only to the state of karnataka but to the whole country and the globe thank you very much thank you